Okay, so we're in chapter one of our end here creation, and as you can see, we have a character, character name may loaded up right here. We're going to be using her to create all of our end here as a demo. As you can see, we're also in our FX tab, and we also have our FX shelf selected. Of course, all of these things are used for styling, but we're not going to style anything here. Instead, we're going to be using our N here menu. I'm going to be using most of the options that are given to us right in there. Okay, so first things first, let's go into our animation editor and go to human eye key. Because currently, right now, as you can see, we have animation attached to this which is actually good for a demo because you can actually see how the hair will interact with the character, how it'll fly around. It works. But we're not going to be creating an end here while it's animated. No, 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 that just wouldn't be wise. So what we're going to do is we're going to set her back to stance. And then what we're going to do first things first is prepare all of these polygon here for end hair creation. Currently, right now, as you can see, we'll just go to perspective. The geometry is not enough. You can see it's it's pretty low res. What we're going to be doing is add some more uh, faces to this. The center bangs that you're seeing here right now for polygon here seems to be fine. So I'm not going to really worry too much about that. We'll just put that on a separate layer. I just like to keep my scene well organized. So we'll just call this center bangs. There we go. And we'll just give this a color somewhat similar to what we need, just so that we could easily differentiate it. Let's do the same thing for the side bangs. Or in this case, I'll be a little creative here. I'll go with raven bangs. We go and I'll do the same thing too as per color. Last up, we got the pigtails, or in this case, I guess ponytails, pigtails, whichever one is fine with you. So I'll just name that. Yeah, I'll name it ponytails. Why not? And I think while we're at it, I'll work with this one. First, all right. First up, let's go to our modeling tab, and we need to add some more geometry to this. One of the easiest ways, I guess, to do that would just be to apply a smooth. And we'll do the same thing for Raven Bangs as well. Yeah, like as, as I said before, yeah, I think center bangs is fine. All right, so let's go up, go to smooth option box, and let me just reset this just to be safe. And we'll keep it at open sub div, and I think we'll, yeah, we'll keep it at divisions at one and smooth. All right, so as you can see, there's a little tab that pops up. This is actually new in 2016, which is very, very helpful. Let me actually show you all the child box editor. Let me just go back to that just to show you all exactly how helpful. So let's say you want to switch it to two. You don't actually have to do it in channel box editor. You can actually do it right there. But one is fine. We'll work with one for this. That is more than enough geometry. And also, we'll just delete the history on this, which is fine. We'll do the same thing for the raven bangs as well. I'll just smoothen that out. I forgot the other one. Let me just select those two. And I'll go back up to smooth. And yeah, that works fine for me. I'll do the same thing as well. I'll delete the history on this one. And I think it is perfectly fine now. All right, so I think we have enough geometry on 
all of these polygons here. The layers are neatly laid out. So we could actually dive in to chapter two, but before we do, most importantly, save your file. So let's just do that. In this case, I'll just replace one of the older files that I was using. That one's fine. You can of course name your scene file, whatever you want. And yeah, I think we have enough geometry here. So let's get into chapter two and convert these polygons into curves.